Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the disk defragment are not working and your task scheduler is not opening up on your Windows device. So if the two are interchangeably related in this instance, that's good. Um, it'll probably more closely resemble what we're going to be going over in this video. If only your disk defragment or service is not working, you probably can still pick up something that will hopefully resolve your problem nonetheless in this tutorial. So we're going to just jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to open it up. So what you want to do is type in services.msc. should be listed as a desktop app on Windows 10. Earlier versions of Windows should just say services. So left click on that. Okay, so what you want to do now is scroll down to get to Windows Event Log. Or you can also move it up in ascending order. It doesn't really matter which one you do. So actually, I'm going to blow this thing up full screen here so you guys have a better view of what we're doing. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go down to Windows Event Log. Right here. I'm going to double click on it. So I'm going to change startup type here to automatic. I'm going to click on apply and that should start up the service. If it does not, you want to click on the start button here. You want to make sure the service status says running after you've changed the startup type to automatic. Once you're done doing that, click on OK. And now you want to go to the task scheduler service. So task scheduler right here and you want to double click on that. And if it's not set to automatic and running, you want to enable it. So if these options are not great out for you, you want to start up the service and then click apply and OK. So you want to start that up as well if it's not already. And then once you're done doing that, you can close out of this window. Try to open up the disk defragmenter again and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.